This satellite is over 20 billion kilometers away from Earth. So how does NASA still communicate with it? At distances like this, it shouldn't be possible due to interference from things like gamma rays, which are emitted from large masses like quasars or black holes. But NASA has a few tricks up its sleeve. You see, the interference causes a degradation in the strength of the radio signal being sent or received from the satellite. And once it becomes too weak, communication becomes impossible. Since the satellites are over 50 years old, NASA can't exactly upgrade their aging equipment. What it does instead is it uses something that it developed called the Deep Space Network. It's a network of massive radio antennae spread around the planet, which when combining their signal creates what is effectively a planet-sized antenna. This means it can send much stronger signals to the Voyager 1 than just a single antenna, strong enough to resist the degradation from background interference. It also means each antenna can pick up the weak, faint signals sent from the Voyager, and when combining the data, allows the Voyager to communicate back with NASA.